Good morning, welcome to Tots and Touchdowns. Today we are at Wyndham Bonnet Creek. We're gonna do a resort tour. First, we're starting off with some water slide videos. This slide's between tower two and three. It was awesome. You must be able to swim. They do not allow floaties, and it was enjoyable for kids ages six to 13. That's what our group was. So here's a couple of them just having a good time. So now I'm going to take you on a walk around, uh, around the grounds at Windamana Creek. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. So this was me leaving between Tower 3. So that pool is located between Tower 2 and 3. And as you can see here, this is the main entrance to Tower 3. Tower 3 is actually our favorite location because it's close to that pool. It's close to food and it's just a great place to be. You get great views and we really like that tower. We are at tower one, two, and three we've been at. So far, three is our favorite. The other ones, uh, we don't like as much because we don't like that main pool. But as you can see on this path, there's many areas see there, like these chairs to sit at. There's so many ducks along this path. There's so much turtles along this path. And as you can see ahead, we are coming up to tower, I mean not the tower, the hotel. So this is the hotel on property. It has a pool as well, but similar to the main lobby pool, we find this pool to be far too crowded and it's always busy. There is no downtime for this pool at the hotel. So we don't ever go to that but uh, that is an option. And also along this path, you're gonna see up ahead here on the left, there's blue poles with um, tape around it. That was for turtle eggs. So my brother did see the one day, the turtles come up the shore. Okay, there's a hotel pool for you, see how busy it was? And it's not as kid friendly, it's more for like adults I found. So right there on the left is the uh, turtle egg area. So they just kind of mark it off. My brother saw turtles laying eggs and it was really cute. Okay, and here is um, the lake from this view. It's so pretty. And the restaurant, this was our favorite restaurant. They had the hockey games playing. The servers are always really nice there. It backs onto that hotel pool. There's a hot tub there, which is kind of weird to me because it's right beside the restaurant. But this restaurant, you know, has wings, nachos, burgers, sandwiches, all the fare that you would want. It is called Bar um, 1521. They do have happy hour specials. You'll just have to check. Sometimes they put it in the, like, uh, on the announcement board to let you know. But it's got a really nice patio, a really great view. It's priced like a normal restaurant. We like to go there and watch the sports because the um, NHL playoffs were on. And this is what we call the pirate ship pool. Now this is located at Tower 6. This pool is really cool. It has more of a fast dark slide. I'm going to show you when we get in, but as you can see, it's a really neat pool. Here's the view again of the beautiful water and all the towers. Uh, right there, see there's our tower way down there, way on yonder. But it's just a really large resort. It's a great walking path, you can get around. There it is, there is the slide. You have to be 48 inches to ride the slide. It doesn't land in a pool, but it lands in like a uh, flatness and they will not let you wear anything else. You may not wear puddle jumpers. You may not wear water wings. You have to be able to swim. So here it is. And this is one of the cabanas that you could rent. I saw it had a safe, it has uh, a fridge. I'm not sure about the price. And here is the pirate ship pool as we call it. It is a zero entry pool at the one end. It's got, uh, oh, there's the pirate ship bar. It's back there. That's where they have a lot of the happy hour sales. It is actually kind of hidden and cute. So, sorry, I'm just showing you now going from that pirate ship pool area. This is us leaving it now. So I just showed you the pool briefly. Uh, that bar in there, though, is really cool. So now this is going to be between Tower 5 and 6. You have another barbecue area. And as you can see, a lot of the guests use this area. So if you're going to do it, you might want to get there earlier than you plan. And they have these location boards right out. See, we are right by Tower 6. They have, like, maps all around telling you where to go. 
And between um, Tower 6 and Tower 5 is the Lazy River, uh, the second one that is on property, but it was closed uh, for refurbishment, which was kind of lit. Because last time we came for the pandemic, they wouldn't let us do the Lazy River, or they didn't have tubes. So it was open, but you just swam. I don't know. So it was closed this time, and there's another hot tub there located. So this is between Tower 5 and 6. And if you think your children are going to use this more, then sure, get Tower 5 or 6, because that's near the pirate ship pool. I'm pretty sure people have those preferences. See, as you can see, it was closed. It said um, it's supposed for maintenance, which is good. So hopefully next time we come, it'll be sparkly, brand new, and looking fantastic. But this one is a little longer than the one by the front lobby. There's little cannons right there. Those are usually shooting the water. And it's just a really relaxing time. It's got a lot of shade, a lot of trees. The one by the main lobby, as you'll see soon, is just straight up in the sun, no shade whatsoever. So this one here is more kind of off the beaten path. And then as you continue, there's this little encove, I guess how you call it, alcove. To the left, it had a ping pong table. You asked them for the paddles. And this way here, if you continued to the left, you go over the bridge and to the right is another bar area. They do have a lot of restaurants on property that also has a lot of happy hour specials. So here we are, look at that view. And there is that bar I was talking about that does also great food and a lot of the happy hour specials were there. And a lot of the stuff on the whole entire property is kind of pirate themed. So they had like that little sandy beach spot that looked like a fake pirate, or not like a real pirate, and that was his ship. So this path here goes around that area. But there is another uh, quiet pool hot tub behind us. Oh, also, as you walk, as you can see on the left, they have little placards that tell you the names and the types of the fish, which was really cool. And they do that with all the plants around property, which I think is awesome. And then coming up here, this is between Tower 4 and 5. And this is where they have an amphitheater by Tower 4. And at the amphitheater is where they'll host magic shows or any kind of entertainment. Once again, you can find it either on your TV or the weekly timeline they give you. And they'll tell you what events they have going on there. I believe they have yoga there in the mornings. Oh, there is also this right here is a large fire pit. It's really nice at night. Yeah, it, it had all they move all the chairs around it. It's pretty cool. And here is the amphitheater area. So that is where they'll do some nighttime shows. And coming up here is uh, the main lobby uh, building. Now, if you go to the left up on this path, you would go around kind of all that area and skip all the crowd, which is great if you're running. But we had to stick to the right because that's how you get up to the Lazy River and to the main lobby building. So as you can see here on this sign, here we are, Tower 4. There's that bridge sticking up. 
The boardwalk is 0.63 miles around, so you can run it. You just have to use that bridge area so that you're not getting kind of stuck. So this is the main lobby area where you get, there's ice cream, there's the arcade. This is where you would check in. There's a store that serves Starbucks coffee. You can kind of grab and go things. Anything you might have forgotten, there's like bathing suits, sunblock, detergent, all those things. And here is the main lobby pool, which we never go in. We find it to be way too busy. We prefer that pool between tower two and three. And this also has zero entry parts, which is great for young kids. And there's the ice cream shop right in front. The main lobby will be to the right. And here we are at the main lobby pool. Okay, so here's a time lapse of the Lazy River. It's nothing crazy. Um, it wasn't too, it wasn't long. I wouldn't call it super short, but as you can see, it was crowded. Lazy River by the main lobby here. The other one is closed. Boom. And then beside the main lobby pool area is another splash pad area. This kind of has more things for the kids. It has a little slide, it has the squirters. That's like for baby. It's got that, the soft like rubber no, flooring. Like so if you want to do that one, it's a little bit better. And also, as you walk from the main lobby, this is where they have right here on the right, they have a change room. So on your first day checking in, if you want to change into suits or anything, you can do that right here. So now this is the walk going from the main hotel lobby to tower one. So in between the main lobby building and tower one is this grassy area over here. So this grassy area here, this is used, uh, we were here, they used on Tuesday nights for a luau, which was really cool. It starts at seven o'clock. And this is where that path to the koi fish also hits. So if you want to miss that late main lobby building by building four, you go on that big bridge and you go from four to one pretty quick. They also had a food truck here that was here every day that was doing all sorts of different foods. We never went to them, but I believe they were selling like sandwiches and stuff like that, but they also had alcohol. So during the luau, people were buying beers if they wanted. But they had a QR menu you could scan, they had breakfast and all that sort of stuff, so it was neat. So this here is the corner end of building number one, as you can see. And there's that food truck. And there's the sandy area here on the left with chairs to sit in, which was kind of neat. It was one of that sand that's made out of shells. Our kids kind of went through it and like liked finding the little shells in it. So this is the beginning of building one. This is our little entrance that we had. And there's that bridge where you can feed the ducks and the koi. As you can see, the umbrellas, that's that pool. 
And this is how you would get to tower one, two, and three. Oh, I was a complete liar. This is the main, the main entrance to tower one. Anything that has a tree and the garden around it is kind of the main entrance with the elevators. So here we are, back at tower one. And actually our balcony, we were on level two. So that is our balcony right there. We faced the lakefront and we also faced the barbecue area. And tower one is right beside the park. Tower two, the benefits of that is you're near the mini pot, shuffleboard, and the pool, and tower three, the pool. And this is actually the only park on the entire property. So if you have younger kids, I highly recommend you do tower one then, because you're close to the kid-friendly stuff. And this was the only water bottle, bottle filling station I saw on the whole property. So that's near Tower 1. Because they do not offer water at the pool. They do at the bar. But I kind of like didn't want to wait in line for that. So if you need water, make sure you fill up beforehand. And this area here is where they had cornhole tournaments. They have shuffleboard. They had events there during the day. And here we are. So this is the beginning of tower number two. We have stayed in this tower, but when we were in this tower, we were in a three bedroom deluxe. And as you can see, like I said before, the little kind of the tree, what do you, roundabouts. The roundabout usually means the main lobby for a building. So here we are at tower two. And right here, as you can see, they have the 18-hole mini putt. You get the clubs from the, the tower, the towel hut cabana. That's where you also get towels for the pool between two and three. There is an activity hut where you will grab your clubs and all that. So as it's busy. I recommend doing the mini putt at night because it is hot. And this is one of the boards I was talking about that shows, you know, the daily specials or what's going on. That, that was telling you the ice cream menu. The grounds here are maintained really well. They were mowed every day. We could see, uh, by, by the way, at 8 a.m., we could see them constantly clean the barbecues. The barbecues were so clean. And here we are back at the pool area between Tower 2 and 3. This is where I started that walk. So here is the towel hut in the splash zone area, that little brown bit. That's where you're going to get the golf clubs, uh, uh, towels for your stay. So this splash pad area is just this. It just drops the water. And here is the pool that we stay at with their own little restaurant inside. And as you can see, far less busy. <laughs> 